Sure, let me give you the numbers first, and then we'll bring in Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta. For the quarter, Delta earning $1.30 per share, three cents better than expectations. Trasm, the total revenue per available seat mile. Remember, they had lowered their guidance down or came in at 3%, a growth of 3%, actually came in with growth of 3.2%. And then when you look at their margin, 12.5% for the fourth quarter. Their guidance for the first quarter, EPS of between 70 and 90 cents a share. The consensus right now is at 94 cents a share. I'm not sure I would call this a warning on the low side. There's a number of factors in there that might be influencing the analyst expectations there. Total revenue per seat mile expected to be between flat and up 2% with capacity growth of 4%. Let me bring in Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta Airlines. Uh, you guys have had a rocky quarter in terms of how the analyst community has looked at, uh, at where you guys are. So many concerns about revenue and the revenue picture out there right now. Give me your perspective. I thought it was a strong quarter for us. Uh, we anticipated at the start of the quarter that we were going to grow our top line revenues by 8%, which is very, very healthy. We grew by 7%. So we missed by a point. Uh, part of that was driven by the fact that fuel prices had, had fallen so rapidly during the course of the quarter. We were anticipating some fuel-driven pricing momentum building as the quarter went on. Obviously, that didn't occur because fuel prices were down, but it was a great quarter. I think the thing about the quarter to me that was most impressive, though, Phil, was that we had a 25 percent increase in fuel prices, yet grew our margins. Uh, it was so from from our perspective, we accomplished what we were looking to do. But at the same time, you mentioned the fuel prices coming down does not allow you or your competitors to get some of the pricing power that you would expect in terms of increasing fares. And that's the concern that's out there among analysts right now, that we are in a revenue environment where it's going to be tough for you guys to grow your revenue in the first quarter. You're expecting to be flat to up two percent. Is that a fair expectation that you guys are now in basically a, a, a less growth-oriented uh, era for uh, revenue per seat mile? I, I don't think so. You know, fuel prices today are exactly where they were this time last year. So from a from a year over year perspective, fuel prices went up, they came down, but they're essentially the same. We haven't changed our network strategy at all right. in the course of the last 12 months. Uh, last month at our investor day, we said that we expect revenues to grow about 5% in the year. We're still anticipating revenues growing 5% in the year as well as in the first quarter. North Atlantic traffic going uh, over to Europe. Uh, you've guys got some headwinds there, not just you, but the industry, whether it's Brexit, whether it's France. Um, are you concerned about that segment? You know, it's interesting. We're, we're cautiously uh, watching what's happening over in the transatlantic. But if you were to ask me what one of the real surprise factors for us in 2018 was, was our revenues to Europe were up double digits year on year. So we're lapping a very strong year. We're going to be cautious with our capacity into particularly into the coming uh, shoulder period. But I, you know, from my perspective, I think Europe's doing okay. Ed